Welcome to Discover La Jolla, where we shine a light on the jewel of San Diego, La Jolla, California. I'm here with Kim Avant and Chef Jason Nim from the Grand Colonial and 910 Restaurant. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you all doing? Great. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Yes, we're yeah, so excited no, yeah. to have you on and learn a little bit more about the hotel and the restaurant. So I know it has such a rich history in La Jolla. So tell me a little bit about the origins and um, kind of a little bit of the backstory about the hotel. Sure. So the Grand Colonial is the oldest original hotel in La Jolla and the only AAA four diamond rated hotel in the village. It opened in 1913 and underwent a large expansion in 1928, taking the room count from 22 rooms to 75 rooms at the time. In the last 20 years, the hotel has taken on a number of studio apartment buildings that were also built in the 1920s and we've taken our total room count to 97. Oh my goodness, that's so amazing. And I know it has such a rich history too in the village. And 910 Restaurant used to be the old pharmacy. Is that correct? Correct, yes. Mm -hmm. um, so the La Jolla drugstore or pharmacy um, was next to the Grand Colonial. Um, it was actually the Colonial Hotel and Apartments at the time. Moved into the building um, when the renovation took place back in 1928. They outgrew us um, at one point and relocated. Um, and so at that time is when we... Um, built a restaurant. It was Putnam's Grill um, and then became 910 Restaurant in 2001. Yeah. Awesome. So tell me yeah. a little bit about the restaurant and kind of what you do differently in the village. Um, well, the restaurant is, um, you know, from the beginning after it was remodeled and, and uh, called 910, uh, they went with a uh, farm to table sort of concept mm -hmm. and then uh, that ran for I think a year or so and then I came on um, and then in uh, 2003, so uh, I came on with the same mindset, uh, using local seasonal ingredients and sourcing from, uh, you know, some of San Diego's best producers and whatnot. So um, as time went on, uh, two decades later, we sort of evolved and sort of become a staple in La Jolla. And what we do is really try to focus on seasonality, uh, try to be creative, try to be um, sort of in the now, I guess, without being too trendy. Um, really cook good food and provide a quality experience for our guests. And, um, you know, we've been around now for quite a bit. <laughs> Oh, thank you so yeah. much for sharing. And I know you do a lot of events and special dinners. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about that. Um, so, you know, as uh, all chefs and um, restaurants in the city, we do, uh, whether it's uh, charity events, local events, and, uh, you know, coming up, uh, the Del Mar Food and Wine. So those are things that we try to do to give back. And whether it's... Uh, you know, a charity event, a wine dinner, a collaboration with other chefs and what have you. Um, just try to uh, keep it going forward, you know. Awesome. Yeah. Well, being in the village of La Jolla and having such a rich history there, um, over 100 years, what makes La Jolla special to you and why do you love serving the La Jolla community? Oh, wow. Um, that's a great question. Um, so obviously, um, La Jolla is just such a great community in general. If, if feels um, welcoming as a community. I think that is definitely something that our hotel brings to the community as well. Um, having been there for so many years, we've been part of not only local La Jolla's um, mm -hmm. lives, but many people who've passed through our doors over these years, um, really just helping to create memories. Um, I personally have been with the company a little over 14 years. Um, and so it's been a huge part of my life. Um, I grew up in a service oriented family and so i think that's why i found myself in the hospitality industry um, and i really just appreciate being able to you know share that with other people um, really just try to be of service whether i mean now in my role it's more so to our employees um, but also our guests and so i think that's what really makes it special for me yeah. And I know we were talking too offline earlier that you really do pride yourself on hospitality for the hotel, like attention yeah. to detail. So tell us more about that and how you go above and beyond for um, all the clients walking through your door. So I think something that is really unique to being a boutique hotel is that 
um, because we're typically serving, you know, roughly 100 hotel guests a day, probably about the same in the restaurant. Mm -hmm. It really allows us to focus on personalized guest service. So getting to know our guests, understanding their preferences, tailoring to their needs, um, and really, you know, helping to create those memories. You know, I can think of um, a particular couple that comes to mind several years ago. He was traveling to the area to have a life-saving organ transplant and they happened to be staying with us over the holidays and so um, we took it upon ourselves to buy a Christmas tree and decorate it in their room just to bring a little piece of home to them um, in kind of a concerning time of their lives and they have been repeat guests for many many years um, up until for health reasons the pandemic Mm -hmm. hasn't really allowed them to travel much Um, but I had an opportunity to speak with them just a few months ago And they talked about how, you know, the Grand Colonial will always be part of their family. And so I think it's those experiences, right, that really help to not only set us apart, but make doing what we do every day very rewarding. Right. It's you're more than a hotel. You're really a part of their family. It's more of a neighborhood restaurant. You know, a lot of the the clientele are locals, Mm -hmm. you know, as it would seem that we'd get a lot of tourists and very seasonal. But the truth and the fact is that it's really local based. You know, we see a lot of the same faces week in, week out. And like Kim was saying, just tailoring our, you know, whatever it is, whether it's a wedding, um, a business meeting, being able to actually just really hone in on that, you know, so we're really a small, tight knit hotel yeah you know. no that makes yeah. a lot of sense and such an amazing hotel and and doing such amazing things for the community as well and if someone wants <clears> to um, learn a little bit more about the restaurant and the hotel where can they find out uh, more information sure so our websites are grandcolonial.com and nine spelled out dash ten spelled out dot com um, i just wanted to mention too i don't think jason um, has shared as much but just such great food coming out of his kitchen. Um, We have been recognized as the best hotel fine dining restaurant in San Diego, as well as he's earned a Michelin plate distinction. And I think that that's so important he be recognized for that. That's such a big accomplishment. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Awesome. Well, would love to get more people to the restaurant and to the hotel. And if you're watching this, be sure to go to 910 and check out the Grand Colonial. Thank you so much, Kim. Thank you so much, Chef. Thank Thank you. you. Thanks for having us. Thank you.